Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sanjay Thoma. I am standing here to talk about a dual high frequency source of acoustic wave resonator for ultrafine particle sensing. I am uh, from the University of Warwick in, in the United Kingdom, which is a top 10 universities in the UK. Uh, firstly, let me give a brief introduction about the um, outline, which is um, after the introduction, I will be talking about so resonators and the working principle. Then I will be showing the uh, prototype that has been used for the particle detection. And after that, I will be covering the results section, which includes the sensitivity catering based on the particle size. And uh, at the last, I will be talking about conclusion and further work. So the major uh, key facts which has been published by the WHO uh, recently is that <coughs> outdoor air pollution accounts for uh, the major number of cancer deaths in the world and also it can be seen that total number of deaths caused by the air pollution which is both indoor and outdoor air pollution uh, is uh, over 6 million. As a result of all this, new uh, limits have been uh, set for the various air pollutants like Particulate matter 10, PM, I mean PM10, PM2.5, ozone, and so on. In spite of all these advances, the challenges still remain. So, in this study, the target parameter I have used is the particulate matter PM2.5, and then we can also look for PM10 uh, ultrafine particles that also be, could be covered in this study. Uh, recent guidelines show that by reducing the PM10 pollution from 70 to 20 microgram per meter cube, we can um, uh, reduce the number of deaths due to um, this uh, air, air pollution by about 15 percent. As, as a result of all this, there is a, a huge demand for devices that is capable of sensing and detecting environmental pollution both indoor and outdoor. So here I will be talking about a, a small briefing about so um, uh, principles. Uh, it is actually based on a piezoelectric substrate. Uh, the periodic electrodes will generate an alternating periodic potential that will create an acoustic surface ray on the top of the piezoelectric material. Uh, this acoustic surface ray will be forming a standing wave between the input and the output electrodes, thus forming a sensing area between the two electrodes, uh, just because of the help of the wave reflectors which is present on both the sides of the sensor as you can see in the figure. Here I have, uh, I am trying to demonstrate this study with the help of a 262 megahertz dual saw resonator as shown in the top figure. Um, you can see that uh, the, these uh, electrodes in that uh, saw resonator has been made using aluminium electrodes and uh, by looking at the uh, bottom figure I can um, say that it is around totally having around 12 dB loss uh, uh, when we look at the uh, transmission curve for the saw resonator which I have used and also this uh, saw resonator is based on Rayleigh wave um, mode of operation. Here in this no, mode I have used a dual sensor operation that means one sensor will be acting as a reference and the other one will be acting as a sensing one. So the, ad the advantage of using such a uh, configuration is that if you look at the uh, differential signal between these two, the green one is the differential signal and th this will show that the common mode noise will be removed such as temperature variation, um, pressure variation and all other drift, all these things can be removed because of that. And also we can ensure that the response is purely due to the particles that have been detected on the top of the sensor. This is the block diagram, the first figure shows the block diagram which uh, we have used for the oscillator circuitry using the surface acoustic wave resonator. Here the saw device is placed in a uh, feedback loop 
which is having a filter and an RF amplifier. The RF amplifier is having very high gain, which is able to um, compensate for the losses due to the filter loss and other sorbase uh, losses. The, the right uh, picture shows the um, setup of the source sensor in the oscillator configuration. So based particle sensing. Actually, the, the figure shown here um, illustrates the uh, method which I have used for this uh, detection of the particles. Um, you need to know uh, a keyword called the penetration depth, which is deciding the size of the particle that has to be detected. This, um, one thing we need to make sure is that uh, the operating frequency of this device is dependent on two is is um, using two uh, is uh, affecting two main parameters such as penetration depth as well as the mass sensitivity. So the penetration depth is inversely proportional to the frequency, but the mass sensitivity is directly proportional to that. These are the two main parameters that we need for uh, defining the uh, saw frequency. So by tuning the uh, by making a frequency dependent sensitivity tuning, it is possible to um, detect different uh, particle size so that we can, we'll be able to uh, detect uh, micron to submicron type of particles. This is the setup that I have prototyped, I have used for the uh, detection. Here I have used a three axis translation stage for depositing the um, particles, different particles on the sensor. And the output of the saw sensor will be fed to an interface receiver. That will give the some frequency of operation. The, uh, the, the table shows the different particles like gold, silver, um, PTFE, sucrose, and, go, uh, and uh, two different types of golds I have used. So, uh, the, uh, the size is 20 micrometer for one type and the uh, other one is 0.7 micron, it's around 750 nanometer. And I got the result uh, of mass sensitivity like 275 hertz per nanogram for the 0.7 micrometer gold. So. And, and the top figure shows the different, the, the particles that have been deposited on the sensing area, actual sensing area of the saw device. In order to find out the positional sensitivity analysis of the thought resonator, I have uh, deposited the particles on different areas of the saw device and these figures show the SEM images of two different particles. One is the 20 micrometer gold particles and the other one is the 0.7 micrometer gold particles. The first figure shows the positional sensitivity analysis of the thought device which shows that as we move away from the uh, sensing area, you can see that the mass sensitivity decreases. So try, trying to increase the sensitivity, we need to um, deposit the particles in the sensing area. And uh, um, this, the second figure shows the saw differential signal, which ensures that there is a, a fast response and uh, as well as a low noise differential signal. This result shows that the particle size uh, which is having a diameter smaller than the penetration depth is having the largest <coughs> mass sensitivity is just because of the surface interactions occurring on the close proximity of the sensor and resulting in a high uh, mass sensitivity. To conclude with, I uh, have used the chemical source sensors technology for particle detection. Uh, th this gives rise to a, a low cost and robust particle sensing uh, system and also the frequency dependent sensitivity analysis has been done in order to tailor the particles uh, size and uh, the uh, 262 megahertz four particle sensor was capable of detecting picogram range masses. So these are optimized for PM 2.5 detection. Further work is carrying out for uh, developing the CMOS oscillators and to integrate the SOAR oscillators with the CMOS to, in order to form a smart device.
Thank you for listening. Any questions?